Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today, I'm gonna see if I can finish my 3D printer. I've actually had it up and kind of running, but uh, I never finished it. All the wires are hanging out everywhere because I wanted to see it in action and I, I might just use the last half an hour to put it together nicely. I've had to move it down in the basement here because uh, the upstairs was no longer available for having a 3D printer sitting permanently on the table. So, um, I'm gonna be wrapping up the printer. Here is the printer and as you can see over here the wires are mm, well just hanging out of it and I have literally not touched it since I did the last video. The stuff that I was doing in that video is still on the on the bed. I might just remove that and try again but first I'm gonna take care of all these cables and try and get that and I kind of moved it a little bit quick so I just wrapped all the wires around it and the filler is right there. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, not get rid of, but move somewhere else. Here it is, a little bit more unwrapped. And let's go to the sector section. Uh, this board, there's a case for it. Uh, I did kind of put that together. Everything is over here, right there. It's kind of a little bit of a mess. This is part of the case. And so is this piece, and there is a fan blower for a couple of nails. I do not think that has anything to do with that. But here is the cage for the... Get that over here. Well, I'm trying to put this box together, and it's, it's kind of there, but I'm really I'm running out of screws in the right length. Most of these are too short, and these one are too long, and now... Well, I'll, I probably have to go get some more screws before I can really finish this. But uh, yeah, now I have to take off all the connections to put it inside this box. And well, they were a real pain in the butt to get right in the first place. So it's a bit of ah to have to take it all apart again to get it in there. But uh, I guess I got to do this. Well, um, an hour later, I have no idea how I should get all these cables in there. I've done this, all the wires that are coming from up top are now going down and through this hole and down to the circuit board down there. All the wires that are coming from the bottom, like these big chunks of wires, they should really be shortened up. I think this must be enough cleaning for this time. I'm not gonna be able to complete this today. I'm just. Uh, I want to do something else than this, so I'm going to try and connect the printer and see if it still works. The computer is booting and the 3D printer, at least it powers up. Uh, I think I'll get rid of these, the test print that died on me because the computer was on battery safe mode. I'm going to check that before I go print something new, but last time I tried to print this, I was printing and then the computer went into battery save mode and that was like really irritating. I have connected the computer and it's connected to the printer over here and I'll just show how the printer is connected, printer setup and these are the numbers that I have plugged in. I'm using COM4 and I'm using the baud rate 250,000 and auto detect and these settings uh, those are working for me. And these other tabs It's been a while since I played with it before, so I want to make sure that it goes in the right direction. So there's a big fat home button right there, and if I press that, it will try to go home in all the axles over here. But that's a little bit dangerous if something is wrong, it will do a lot of damage. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give it a little bit, I'm gonna press that and see if it moves. Okay, that's so little that it's not visible. Oh, it's the bed is moving. And let's try the set axle. It moves up and this X axle, it moves that. So let's try and bring it home on the X axle. It did that. 
and the Y axle. It did that as well. And the Z axle. I'm pressing these different small houses up here. X axle, the Y axle and Z axle. So we're gonna move it on the Z axle. And it moves down and it hits a switch inside. And it goes up and down a little bit. So everything looks good. The bed here might be out of alignment too. So I'm gonna move that a bit around here. And as far as I know, a piece of paper should be able to slide under there. So we're gonna move it a little around, see if, if that's the case everywhere. Yeah. I'm just gonna tighten that a little bit. Very nice. I think that's good. When everything is aligned, we should be able to go and press home. And it's ready for print job. Okay, someone was telling me in the comments that it would be a good idea to tell Slicer in here to use filaments of 1.75 millimeters and very correctly it was set to 3 millimeters so I just changed that so hopefully this is gonna be a little bit better. I'm gonna be curious on seeing that so I'm gonna try that. Okay, I have a colleague at work and he wanted me to do a project, so I'm gonna load that. It's some kind of a cover for an electronics program that he's doing. Uh, this is it, some Raspberry Pi thingy I think. And it's here and we're gonna go over to Slicer and Slice. And it's gonna be working up here. I don't think this is gonna be taking too long, it didn't take long before. There it is, it sliced it. Manual control. Oh, I haven't even connected to the printer yet. It's connected. Slicer. G code. It's there. Heat it up. Make this a little bit bigger so we can see everything. There it is. And we can heat the print bed as well. This always takes a while, so. I want it to be nice and hot before it starts. It's probably gonna take a while before it starts dripping here. It's about ready at the right temperature. This is at 210 degrees. And over here the temperature of the bed is about 55, 56 degrees. And I can see the, the plastic is a bit liquid in here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can just see the, the yellow tip of it. So let's start the job. Do that up here. Run job. Let's see what happens. Turn on this fan as well. Power it down a little bit. Now it's heating the extruder again. It let it cool down a little bit and then now it's heating it. Which is kind of weird, but well, it did that. Estimated time for this job 42 minutes. Oof, that's a long time. Here it starts. Wonder if it's doing anything. Uh, doesn't look that good. Oh. Oh. Feels like it's starting to work. This looks very suspicious. Well, actually, that part looks okay. Just gonna get rid of this thingy. Okay. 
Well, let's see how far it gets. Well, actually that looks pretty good. It's printing very well right now, but it it still looks very bad. This is not going to be good. It's as if the plastic is not hot enough. So I think I will have to I will have to make the plastic hotter. I'll probably have to tell the slicer program how hot the plastic should be. But well, I'm gonna let this finish and try again. The job is done. And let's see what it did. Oh, it's it's locked in place. I'll have to I'll have to run this out. This is absolutely useless once again. Uh, the plastic it hasn't it hasn't melted correctly. It's well looks very similar to what I did last time. I have to redo this, see if I can turn up the temperature somewhere. This this robot that I did in a video way back, that turned out pretty well. Well, so I have been trying to configure Slicer here. I found some kind of uh, instruction on the internet and I've been trying to put that in. So let's open the project now cover thing there go to slicer and with the new printer settings right there let's try and slice it with that go to manual control press home with that and I'll just start the job run job heating extruder temperature is rising down here uh, the bed should come up to about 60 degrees it haven't turned that on I'm gonna turn this fan on as well uh, I'll get back to you when it's ready it's heating up still and with the new settings it takes about 20 minutes longer Let's see it's about to be to hit 200 degrees here this heat up. It didn't heat up the bed. Mm, I'm kind of disappointed about that. Oh, it's clogged up. Let's see if I can get rid of this. Yep. Oh, I helped it on its way and now it's it looks kind of good. But the bed didn't heat up. Yeah, this is not gonna work. It's already fucking up. Yep. I'm gonna cancel that. Emergency stop. Okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, I hadn't got all of these. Now I've I've saved each of these settings for each of the things so now I'm gonna see if I have a more luck I have already sliced it up going to manual settings and I'm gonna start the job and it's gonna be heating up it's already pretty hot it's 50 degrees and the bed is like and now it and now it has put my settings in I'm gonna see if this is good okay just about ready it should be starting right about now some of this filament out of there. I wonder what it's doing. Oh, it's oh, it has to hit 210 degrees now. 
209.35691010 and I'm just gonna press this a little bit well, I find that that gives me a better result to help it get started This looks pretty good. It's gonna be interesting. Well, this looks pretty good. It seems like it's it's doing well. Hope it's melting okay. It did a lot of layers out here to start with, and it, it takes it takes a long time right now. The printer is working. It looks rather good. I have a flashlight here, so that it's easier to see what it's doing. Maybe it's easier. This looks a lot better than the other one, that's for sure. There is still 23 minutes left on the project, so it's taking considerably longer than the other one. It's almost done. There is just about 2 minutes left. 2 minutes 13 seconds. And it looks really good. Kind of. It's gonna be really interesting to see if this is more one piece than than this that is just <laughs> frets. Okay, we are on the last five seconds. And it's done. You're gonna release this. It's definitely more solid than the other ones. It's gonna be interesting to see if I can get it off this bed. Don't wanna break it. Oh, it's on there, good. I think I have to get a knife. Oh, I broke the tape. Okay, I think I got it. Ah, yeah, there it is. It looks pretty good. It's not totally... I don't think it's supposed to be transparent out here. I'm not sure. But you can kind of see through that. I don't think that's... But it's definitely a lot better than the other ones I've done. Compared to this one. Yeah, there is, there is no comparison. This is pretty close to be pretty cool. It's not a solid bottom here. I got this print done pretty okay. I think my colleague at work will be able to use this. I'm gonna bring it to him tomorrow and see what he says. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And maybe improving on this. There is just so many settings that you can mingle with. It's, it's a jungle. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.